Looks like some things are gonna happen today. Zach's gonna take the case tractor over. We're gonna hook onto the planter, get it down so we can start checking it over. Then we got Cooper coming up with a little 4840 John Deere tractor. He's got the Titan tires on this tractor. Ooh, look at that thing shine. Look at them tires. Where's everybody going, Ellie? They all leaving you here with me? Oh. You gotta stay with me. You poor little puppy. Are you gonna be able to hack it staying with grandpa, huh? Oh, are you gonna be able to make it? But anyhow, well, they're going over to get the planter. I think the little John Deere tractor they're gonna leave over there. I'm not sure what they're all doing. Kind of going through the little case skid loader here, just changing oil filters, hydraulic filters, making sure it's ready for the season. It's getting that time, spring's coming. We're gonna need this equipment. We're not gonna have time to be horsing off. We wanna make sure they're greased, ready. Something about today, the sun is out. I'm really excited about today. It is absolutely a beautiful day. They're talking 69 degrees, which for this time of year is very, very nice. Oh. Well, like this little air box, it gets full of hay, grass, everything else. Where's the deal on that? It should be something hanging underneath that, you would think. But I'm gonna clean it out. Probably change the air filter. Got the cover off, checking the belt and everything underneath it. Engine oil has only got like 92 hours on it. So we can leave that for a little bit before we have to change the engine oil. Fuel filters, there's only about 90 hours on them. Oh, that was loud. Hey, what are you doing there? I don't know if you can see in this little area or not, but we're gonna do surgery. Gonna change this fuel oil filter here if we can get it. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. Well, this ain't good. It's a little tighter. Now well, maybe she's going. Hey, she's going. Hot dog a wiener. Sometimes when you're taking a filter or something off, if you, I don't know if you can see me back there, but if you wiggle it back and forth, hi guys, kind of break that crud off of it. Huh. Good deal. Is that a radiator hose? I'm like putting that right there. There we go. There we go. Here we go guys, the planter is coming in. This is not sometimes a fun task, but it's something that has to be done. The only thing we can kind of think on of it, for some reason, are seed tubes. Seems like every year, there's some wore down more than they should be. Why, I don't know. Seems like this planter is kind of known for that. Hopefully the dog don't go under the sensor, stay here. Kelly, stay here, come here. Kelly, come here. Whoa, look at there, boys. We got a field fire. Yeah, ho, ho, we are on the way to put it out. Field fire, field fire. Call Daddy Cornstar, call Daddy Cornstar. Hey, there's fire. What are you doing? Turn it out of control. Field fire. Grab the shovel. I don't know why this stuff's got to burn. Fire. Slow her down, buddy. I don't need you out of control. Just taking a little shovel out here, pounding them a little bit. Everything's under control. Just didn't want it to get out of control. Makes you think of that song. Burning, burning, ring of fire. Flames went higher. All right, let's make sure everything's out before I head back up to the house. <sighs> Burning ring of fire, flames went higher. Little fire starting to burn through the field. A couple times I drove out here. It was out when I got out here. And then it started back up. Talking pretty good chance of rain tonight. Well, that'll be a good thing to make sure everything's out. At least this is chiseled ground, so it's burning really slow, but just want to make sure it's out. Running around today, you guys seen this little fire that I was dealing with? Things like that could become very serious very quickly. And that made me think, I wanna take the time to thank Policy Genius for sponsoring today's video. One thing that got me thinking, guys, we dig for 18 cemeteries, so we deal with a lot of families and stuff. And one of the things we see the most and hear the most is younger couples, middle-aged couples, things happen quickly. We never thought about life insurance policies. We always thought they were expensive. This is your perfect chance to look into Policy Genius, have their experts help you. It's easy, it's quick, and there's no cost to it. You know, when we're younger and stuff, we, we can build a big debt. If something happened to me or 
you even maybe, and you got a big debt of buying vehicles, your equipment for the farm. If you pass away, your family is now responsible for paying off that debt. I don't know about you, but I wanna know when I go to bed at night, if something happens to me, my debt will be paid off, money left over for the family to live. It's a big healing purpose, not leaving that big responsibility on them. Policy Genius helps you compare prices to the top companies. Within just a few clicks, you are able to find your lowest prices. With the help of Policy Genius, you will be given an unbiased opinion. And the experts that help you, they get no extra incentive and you can trust their guidance. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 a year for $1 million of coverage. Some options offer same day approval. And the best part is them unnecessary medical exams you don't have to do. Head to policygenius.com slash daddy cornstar or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. It's worth your time. Well, give it a quick look over, it looks fine. All this little stuff takes longer than a guy thinks. But what I want to do in a little bit, you know, I should write that filter number down, make sure we get another one on hand. Sounds like this one filter, will change about every thousand hours. It's for uh, the air system to breathe. That's a little, I don't know what it's really called. It's not your main filter into the engine. It's just like a little primary. Hmm. I'm getting a little oil leak somewhere. I wish we could see where it's coming from. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get figured out here, but I'm hoping we can take off the bucket, raise the arm up, put the emergency latch on. I'm hoping underneath the machine is a plate that we can take off underneath so we can wash everything up, try to find out what's leaking oil. Sometimes these emergency latches like this, sometimes we're in a hurry. And we shouldn't be. Sometimes we get careless and we forget to put these things on. Well, it just takes that one time. That will keep it so if this arm comes down, it will stop. There's just no way that it can come down. Remember how we were talking a few weeks ago about moaning and groaning? This is kind of one of them situations. You're way underneath here. It's miserable trying to take a little plate off underneath the belly of this skid loader. That way we can power wash it and then that hurt the dog. We can power wash it and all the yuck will fall out underneath. We need little ramps to be able to load this on or raise the front end up. <laughs> Pretty good sound, something fell off. Oh, my arm ain't long enough. This is the little plate I was trying to get off. Oh, if I flip myself, I should be able to jump up on my feet, but I don't want to hit the ceiling. If you look in the cab of the tractor here, little Ellie got in there. She's laying on the seat taking a nap. She's taking a nap in there. It's a pretty good sign she's tired. Little Ellie got a haircut. She's as cute as a button. This is one thing that guys really got to be remembering about. And it's not just farm equipment. It's even your vehicles, pickups, cars. If you drive a lot of gravel, dirt roads, sand, anything like that. This skid loader has been hauling hay lately, but you get that loose hay. There's supposed to be another, and I got it off right now. There's another screen that goes up here, but we got to remember to blow out our radiators every so often. Get under, really clean them out good. I've seen radiators before, like, I don't know if the guys ever cleaned them out. And then that makes your engine hotter and stuff, which isn't good. Hoping I can go underneath it and blow a lot of it out. What are these, T8s or T9s? I won't miss them. I like these new ones. All right, guys, we are going to rinse, <laughs> rinse clean skid loader. Hey, okay, now don't. You go over there and lay down. Ellie, over here. Go on. That's inside the belly. If you look at all the yuck under there, she is dirty. She's dirty. That's like us. If we just wash our main face, don't wash anything underneath our clothes, 
we'd look like that. We would be a filthy mess. Time we are done power cleaning this, we are gonna be probably as dirty as that thing. Probably worse. Looks like the boys are working on Justin's little machine. I just love these new lights as you walk along when it picks up movement. Movement! Oh, they come on, they come on. We need to shut the door for all the manuals. I think we're gonna quit for the night. It's about 7.15, I'm getting hungry. Dirty, need to throw my clothes in the washing machine. But I need to let everything dry here tonight. And then hopefully tomorrow it'll be dry down there. We can start it up, see if we can find out what's leaking oil. And I hope we can. And hopefully it's nothing too big. I just, I can't imagine it's a very big leak, but something's leaking and now's the time to try to find it before we get busy and then psh, out in the field it leaks. Right now, you can probably call me super genius of all daddy corn stars that's in this shed right now. Took a fan, thought I'd lay it down there, blow a little air in the engine compartment. What I want everything to be, hopefully by morning, everything will be dry and we can really make sure it's clean in there. So when we start it or whatever, like I said, we got somewhere down in there, we have a little oil leak somewhere. It's hydraulic oil, I know that. I just hope it's something very, very simple. Well, let's let, let that dry tonight. Just kind of looking, trying to scratch my head a little bit. Almost tempted to just change the oil tomorrow since we got everything open. The pans are out from underneath. We'll go about another week or so of running and we'll need to change oil then if i change oil now while everything's part i can go a couple probably 150 hours and not have to worry about it and when i say 150 hours i mean engine running hours that engine running for 150 hours total i know the book says 500 hours or a thousand hours or something Whew, i don't know i just i don't think i can do it 